again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Dragoon. This is Captain Ron Phillips here. Today's episode, we're here at the Battle Fort of Hoax in the northern part of Sergio here. We just met up with King Albert at Bale and learned that the dragon and the uh, army there from uh, the other side there, those bad guys there uh, from Helena Prison and all them, they're coming over here with a dragon and we're going to, Lavis decided to volunteer and uh, help with the defense here and uh, Dart and Shanna decided to go with them. Because uh, unfortunately, Shanna doesn't can't be can't be protected there at Bale. So they decided to go with Lavitz and help make this last stand here in Hoax. A lot of stuff is about to happen in this one, so this is an episode you don't want to miss. Plus, a tip, word of thought here. Let me go on the menu here. If you have been leveling up a bit like I have. Uh, you've probably been gone into your other editions, like the example Dart. He, I've already got him on Volcano. And Lavitz, I have not gotten the Spinning King yet, but that's fine. Uh, quick tip, if you want to make this this town go a lot easier, put everybody, Dart and Lavitz, make sure they are on their starting edition. Do not put any other edition on here. And you'll see, and I'll show you why. I'll probably not show you why, but I'll tell you why once it comes up. Um, but yeah, if you have Dart on Volcano, put him back on Double Slash. If you have Lavitz on anything other than Harpoon, take it off and put him back on Harpoon. Even if it is all the way leveled up and everything's done. Trust me, I'll, I'll show you why. Well, I won't show you. I'll explain why. So, let's go ahead and head on in to Hoax. We're all set. And let's see what happens here. Alright, let's go to the HQ first. Kaiser of the 8th Knighthood must be waiting for us. Man's name is Kaiser. Hmm. Is this really a town? It's rather interesting looking. It looks like a fortress. The war changed it. Yeah, most likely. That's true. Nobody wanted it, but it couldn't be avoided. Let's focus on our defenses now. Alright. See, I heard that Sandora not only has a dragon, but also has one of the legendary Gigantos. And I also heard he's a pretty strong warrior. Yeah, Gigantos. We're going to run into something that kind of looks like that. Dole. Now, Dole is the Emperor of Sandora. He's the one who's um, fighting the, the war against King Albert and, and Basil here. Dole is a dominator who enjoys manipulating his country and people. We cannot hand over our Sergio to him. Alright. And I do believe HQ is right in here. It is. Kaiser, long time no see. Lavitz, welcome. I see your knighthood was... Yeah, it was my mistake. But I won't let the dreams of my company end in death and be in vain. I'll end the war and unify Sergio. I will. Oh, there's... He's got goals. Hmm... We cannot stop until we make our dreams come true. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, now I've brought you two powerful helpers, Dart and Shauna. Oh, you are the famous guy who rescued Lavitz. I am Kaiser, the head of the 8th Knighthood. The nice to meet you. Could you inform me on how we stand now? We are still preparing for the raid of Sandora's. What I am concerned about is the information that they are using a dragon. It's better to fortify here and see how they move. 
rather than attacking a dragon that we don't know about. That's true. Then it'll be up to how fast we can spot the approach of the enemy. Great! Indeed, you are right. Dart, Lavitz, why don't you be the guard at night? Having Shanna too is not a good idea. Can you prepare the meals for the knights? Preparing meals? Okay. Dart, you're gonna love it. Okay. I don't want to be rude. Are you alright? I don't think so. Yes, we're looking forward to it. Yes, I'm a, I am a bit concerned. What? Lavitz! Lavitz's mother gave me a nice compliment. I guess it may be edible. Ha 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 ha! Says the guy in the last episode who did take his mother's jerky. Right. I don't like what Lavitz said. I can enjoy and eat any food. Just make a lot. I don't like what Dart said so much either. <laughs> I don't care about the taste. Edible is enough. Just salt is enough for flavor. Even Mr. Kaiser, too. Kaiser, why are you stirring things up even more? I thought I was trying to relax her. Now, that settles the matter. I want Dart and the others to go look around Hoax. The night guards have to know the place. Yeah, the night guards have to know the place. After you look around, come back to me. You stay with me, though, Lavitz. I want to go over the battle conditions with you. Now, shall we? Get along with each other. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now. There is a Stardust around here somewhere. There we go. here is a church let's see what is what does he have to say this war is the trial from a god together let's endure through it okay There is nothing in the church, I remember. This is the end. There's a box over here. Angel's Prayer. Okay. Now the defense for my house is perfect. Right. I will protect this house no matter what. It's down here. In the cinders. More stardust. I think we should get out of town. I... Oop, what did I say? Come on, Dart. Seems that someone was in a hurry, brought them in. It isn't organized yet. Oh. See, when you look for stuff, for like when you look for the stardust, sometimes he notices stuff that just doesn't look right. Okay. Now we don't want to talk to that guy yet. It's up there. It's where we want to talk to and relieve him. 
but we don't want to relieve him just yet. There's a storeroom in here. I think there's one more star stardust in here. Don't quote me on that. There is a box here. Healing potion. Yep. We'll be okay for a while with this much supplies. There's a bed there. The flame puts me in the mood to do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, pal. I'm glad you feel that way. Maybe it wasn't over here. Maybe I just, maybe I got the two I needed. Pokes in the seventh fort in the marshland. These two def are the defense lines for the knight and the kingdom of Basil. Okay. So we got another fort in the marshland. But we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. That's pretty much it for the storeroom. There really isn't much to explore in this town. Everything's all put together. We have a box here. 20 bucks. Here's an old lady here rocking in her chair. This one is, this is one fine fireplace. Well, that's nice. How is this woman supposed to get out? There's no door. I feel, oh, it's all bolted up and everything. Poor woman. What's she got to say for herself? Midwife Gilda. Well, well, we have guests. My name is Dart. I am joining in the defense of hoax for a while. And both of you, when are you having your baby? What? What are you talking about? Y yes, we are. Oh, Jesus, Jana. What? It's too early! Oh, you're visiting a famous midwife, so I thought you wanted to get some advice about having a baby. Anyway, come back anytime if you are going to have one. I was the midwife for King Albert, too. Then you have been observing this country since before the war? Yes. It was 20 years ago. The former king, Carlo, passed away and his younger brother, Dole, broke away. It seems he couldn't stand having his majesty, Albert, who was only six to then, be the king. His majesty, Dole, and his majesty, Carlo, used to be very close. I wonder what made them change. We gotta go now. Well, work hard. When you need me, come back anytime. Need me, meaning need a midwife? Oh! Thank you. We are lucky, Dart. Boy, did she smack him good. Alright, all business aside there, it's time to go on up here and tell this guy that uh, his job is done. A delay in the detection of the enemy is equivalent to losing. Guards cannot let their attention stray even for a moment. Oh, wait, no, that's right. We gotta go get Lavitz. Dummy. Come on, Lavitz. We appreciate the help of the two of you. I'm sure you do. Did you see enough? I will take you to the guard position. 
Yep, we're fine. We're good. We have just finished the strategic meeting. Now, I'll take you to your position. Good. I want to ask both of you to guard the back gate. It's at the end of the stairs. Yep, I'm gonna go talk to this guy now. I am here to replace you. You can trust us. Yes, sir. All right. If Sandora attacks, it'll be a night raid. We cannot relax till morning. Rest while it's still light. Oh boy. It's strangely quiet tonight. If the dragon comes near, we can easily tell. Why is that? There are those in the forest. Nocturnal owls are hooting. It's the proof that nobody is in the forest. So, I'm gonna go grab something. Worrying about Shauna? No! It's not that. Bring me back something. Okay. I'm pretty sure I switched my edition. Yes, I did. Keep it there. Don't take it off. Huh? Cows. Ah! Holy crap! The enemy is coming! Knighthood, advance, fortify the gate. You take care of the casualties. Y yes, sir. We'll counter them. Yeah, that's right, we will. Come here, you two. Yes. Double flash. Ooh. Yes. A little bit tougher than the last time I ran into these guys. Fifty experience, that's pretty good. Huh? Oh. Is this the battle HQ for the front lines for Basil? What a weak setup. I will guard I will guard the top. Lord. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a pumpkin at him. <laughs> All right, he's gonna handle down there. Come up here, you. What guts you have coming alone like that? I'm here. I got those guys at the bottom. <laughs> One or two doesn't make any difference. Big talkers are usually weak. <laughs> Big talkers are usually weak. 
All right, boss battle. This guy has got some cool graphics for him, and you never fight another guy like him. You'll see why here in a little bit. Yes. Sandora Elite. Looks like a ninja. He threw a shuriken at me. <laughs> That hurt. And he's doing it again. Oh, man. Whoa. He just wrapped a chain around me and threw me. Take this. Yes. Lavitz, you're going to have to sit there for a minute. Oof! Alright, I don't want to get too far behind here. Alright, get him. Enough playtime, I'm taking my gloves off. Huh? Can you nail the real me? Yes. Double flash. Darn. Oh, I got him. Lavitz, I want you to guard. Something tells me he's going to do what I think he's going to do. I was right. Oh, no, he's not. Howie. Ah. Okay. Well, let's see what the third, the, the guy in the middle has to say. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! him. What about him? Nope. He's a guy on the left. Howie. Guy. Yes. Aha. Two hundred and a healing breeze. size of that axe it's a giganto is that his name 
Giganto. Holy crap. Live it. I heard about it, but is he real? The ones who fought so far were no match for him. Well, he is still not a dragon. Go! Ooh, listen to that music. Holy crap. Oh. This is going to be interesting. Right. Okay, Dart's ready. One more fly, it's okay, we're good. Here we go. Now I want to show you something, guys. You see how he flinches back real quick after you hit him? If I were to use Volcano or any other addition that took more than just pressing X once, when he flinches back real quick, you know normally you have the um, counterattack, the red uh, thing that comes down, and you have to hit the circle for counterattack. Kongle, as his name is, will not let you do it. He will immediately grab you and toss you back. So that's why I said to switch to your basic one move. You see as he flinches right back. If you were to use your uh, multi one like Volcano or Spinning Cane, anything like that, he would immediately grab you and toss you back or punch you back. So, uh, so e you, even if the, and the circle will not come up. So he automatically cancels a multi-edition. So that's why I said in that tip in the beginning to, uh, if you play this game, do not go in here with Volcano. I mean, Volcano would help you against those soldiers and that Sandora Elite, but it ain't gonna help you against this guy. Kongo needs no weapon. Kongo beats it with his bare hands. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, spark that. That didn't go very well. My hand's not doing. Oh, 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 64. Oh. Try that again. Oh, and he's red already. That's better. Seventy six. And oh, whoa, what kind of is he just is he giving me the fist? What was that? Uh-oh. What is that? What the heck is that? Wake up. Dragoon of the Red-Eyed Dragon. Huh? Whoa. 
Says. Every rose has its thorn. Trophy here. Interesting. That's that woman who helped us earlier with the dragon. Power wrist. All right. We're level eight. Burning rush. Gotcha. These are not humans. Dart, you... What happened to you? I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. The Knight of the Dragon. The Dragoon was born. Ugh. I'm surprised you didn't die. Giganto don't die. Giganta will pay you back. Dark. You are safe. I hope so. Whoa! What happened? Seeing Shanna's face makes me relieved. And then he falls. <laughs> Obviously, he's not all right. Look at him. Somebody call 911. <laughs> what are you to dart? What did you do to him? I was only... Uh-oh. We're arguing over dart. Cut it out, both of you. I should be thanked. So why do I have to be yelled at? Ugh. Have you come too already? Yeah. Wake up, damn it. I... I was... Dreaming something you weren't supposed to. I don't know. We'll see. I'm glad you woke up. You. You are... Rose. Nice to see you again. Do you know Dart? I told you. I just saved his life. Well, not only once. I want to hear it from Dart's own mouth. Why? Jealous little thing. You explain. I don't understand. Well, she saved my life. Thanks to Rose, I was able to make it to Celis. Then the person who saved you from the dragon was... Yep, it's her. Talk about being saved. I didn't thank you yet. I don't need any thanks. I wanted to do it. I see. But why are you here? It is too fishy to be a coincidence. I followed you because I was fascinated by this artifact that you own. The Dragoon Spirit of the Red-Eyed Dragon. Whoa! This light is... What is this? You deserve to rule dragons. This light shows the true evidence. From the time the Dragoon Spirit starts to shine... You have to accept your fate as a Dragoon, just like me. Okay. I didn't know there was such power concealed in my father's memento. You saved him because you knew it from the beginning? I didn't know it. It was a test to see if he could be a Dragoon. If you couldn't, you would be dead now. 
Why do you know about such things? You know too much about things nobody could know. It's better than ignorance, isn't it? That's true, but yours is not mere knowledge. It's a story and a legend that has been lost. I heard about it from Minister Neusch before. The people who led humans to victory in the Dragon Campaign, they were the Dragoons. But was that the only reason you protected me? Just because I have a Dragoon spirit? She's shaking her head. Honestly, I was surprised myself, but now I know why. You guys look like my dear old friends. They lived in the middle of a turbulent generation, yet they were strong enough to grab their own fate. They knew the way to go, the things to do, the enemy to defeat, and the people to protect. I feel the same about you guys, so I couldn't help doing that. That's thoughtful. Now you understand me? Can I ask you one thing? What are they doing now? Oh, everybody's gone. It's all in the past. I'm sorry. I think I was wrong about you, Rose. It's okay. I'm used to being hated. Well, that's not nice. Is the head of the knighthood, Sir Kaiser, in here? The seventh fort is under strong attack by Sandoras. Oh, great. What? The seventh fort in the marshland is under a, the fierce attack of the dragon. Due to that, the tenth and thirteenth knighthoods are almost overwhelmed. Survivors is still responding. Where did it come from? From the forest over the volcano Velu. It seems there is a nest there for the dragon. Oh, that's just great. Gigantos and dragons. It is not a fight between humans. If we don't defeat the dragon, we don't have a future. No, you don't. Summon the rest of the knights. We will assault the dragon's nest. The knighthood has the advantage of numbers, but they are only human. Humans cannot defeat a dragon. If it continues, Basil will be annihilated. We don't know until we try. Do you think a wasted death is honorable or something? Uh-oh. But Dragoons can defeat him. Dart, you should understand this. We have a different existence. We are beyond humans. Wow. That's right. Dragoon. Dragoons which were said to have governed the dragons. They can fight against the dragon. Well, I don't know why you say you don't know. Let's do it. Come on, man. Yeah, maybe you can do it. Maybe. Such confidence. I felt the power of the dragon in me. Well, I would imagine... The... <laughs> This was an episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'd hear someone screaming, it's over 9,000. You schmuck. Okay. He believes in himself, folks. Isn't this, isn't this great? It makes me feel relieved. Well, I'm glad you are, Kaiser. There is nobody left who can fight in the Eighth Knighthood. Dark Rose, it seems you are the only people we can count on. Lavitz, you just became a lackey. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> oh. Kaiser. 
Your wound is open. I'm all right. Dark Rose, the kingdom of Basil is finished unless we defeat this dragon. So, you can trust me, I will fight for you too. I'll go too. It doesn't seem to be enough if it isn't if it is only Dart and the others. Shana, you should stay. No, I am going. I can help the other people too. Hup. The Green Tusk Dragon, Feyerbrand. It brings back the fear I felt before. The real fear has not even begun yet. How right she is. can rest and night a it was super what about it that dark fella yesterday he wore unique armor and defeated Kongle. with dart Imperial Sandora is not even a match as our enemy dart is the messiah of the kingdom of basil oh my god <laughs> Messiah, huh? You cannot be called a real Dragoon getting stunned like that by bursting with the power. Well, then tell me, Rose. How should I fight as a Dragoon? What? Let's begin. I got a fighter? Oh, I don't want to fight Rose. Oh, it's a tutorial. Let's begin. What would you like to know about Dragoons? Alright, so here's the tutorial, guys. We got the transformation, the additions, and the magic. The transformation is pretty simple. Alright, Dragoon Transformations need Spirit Power, or Spirit Points. You can accumulate SP by attacking enemies. Let's try. Fight with me. Now you can see my SP on the bottom is zero. Now my additions are going to get points up. Keep it up. And we have to get up to 100 points for each single uh, transformation. I'm surprised I'm hitting her that much. 81? Man, she doesn't have that good armor. Alright. You accumulated SP. When your SP is full, a transformation command appears. Selecting that allows you to become a Dragoon. Now transform yourself. You got this sucker at the end here now. You got a big old eye opening. Are you guys ready for this? how to transform everybody? I do believe you do. For quicker transformations, change the setting on the system screen. Select configuration, highlight morph, and then select short. That way you don't have to see the animation of them completely changing. It'll just, the screen will just flash and they'll just turn to that. Just like that. That's the short version. What would you like to know about Dragoons? Alright, now the additions are hard, but I'll show you, I will try and get this, this is hard. First we need to transform. So we still got the one because it's a tutorial.
All right. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. You emit power all at once with Dragoon Additions. Charge up your power. Now you got this eyeball here. This is almost like the addition screen, but now instead of an X that comes around or a square that comes around, you got a little light up like laser ball that runs around the eye and you have to hit X at a certain spot there at the top. Uh, when successful, the light continues to revolve and the power is charged accordingly. See that? Now try. This is where I'm terrible. Try, guys. Here we go. I messed up. It's okay. One more press. But you saw the uh, you saw the idea, right? I am not good at these at those additions. And say that's enough. And then finally the good stuff. Magic. First transform. Yes, we will do that. One more time, everybody. Two commands after a transformation. The addition and magic. You need a certain amount of MP to use the spell. That's right. You should know this, RPG players. The spells you can use are highlighted. There is only one for now. Select that spell and the target. So, let's give it a try. So we have the addition and the magic. We want the magic. And Dart's magic is... Flame shot. It's a fire, and 50% the damage. I don't understand the STR, the 50% stuff, and it costs 10 MP, and you only have 20, and it's a single uh, enemy shot only. So here we go. That is the Dragoon. Not much. One more thing. Getting spirit points by attacking allows your Dragoon level to increase as well. And you'll have more spell choices. In the end, you can only rely on your sword. Yeah. So basically what that means is the more you use your additions, the more spirit points you get, you actually level your Dragoon character up. So you, the Dragoon goes all the way up to five. And you'll have three magic spells, and when you hit mag and you, when you hit level five, you'll actually be able to summon the dragon that your Dragoon spirit was linked to. So that'll be cool. This is what I can teach. After that, it's up to you. I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for the departure. Let's see. We'll go ahead and rest up. If we can. Yep. Yep. Just 10 Gs. That's fine. We'll heal everybody up. Alright. And there was a save out there. But we're not going to use that. We're going to go ahead and leave. Once we leave town, I will consider you as a mature Dragoon. Yeah. As a mature Dragoon, you know, I'm not that I'm not that old, man, lady. But I won't teach you how to fight anymore. That's not nice. 
I'll be all right. Let's go. So, we have to make our way to the marshland. Now we can go ahead and set back our um, additions. Uh, let's see here. So, let's go to dart. Now you can see the SP points. Now, double slash is completely done. And that gives me 35 points. Volcano is at its first level. 20 out of 40 and it's up to 24 burning rush is just start I just got that and it starts at 30 each edition has it also not only its own damage but it also has its own SP point and sometimes they don't uh, word of thought I'm trying I'm trying to make this as quick as I can word of thought the more powerful the attack in damage percentage usually has the less amount SP the one there's always everybody usually has just one or two additions that have almost no extra damage percentage like double slash or like because you can see burning rush starts lower than both double slash and volcano and it's usually those kinds of uh, uh, additions that actually give you the most SP so you got to kind of tinker around with it so you're gonna go back to volcano and harpoon still has four more moves until it's finished and then we'll go to Spinning Cane. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way to the marshland. So. And of course we fight. But boy, that was quite a battle there in Hoax, wasn't it, folks? <laughs> Hoax, folks. You see what I did there? Let <laughs> me take care of these bats. I'm going all batty myself. There we go. Bye-bye. Take care of that bat. All right. So, I want to thank everybody for joining me here for this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. We had a lot happen in this episode here. We fought off Sandor, we fought off a couple of super soldiers, we ran into a giant, and we halfway turned into a dragon. And we have a new companion with us. Rose is with us, by the way. I should show you that. Rose is with us. Now we can use Replace, because now she's here with us. She, we can take out either Lavitz or Shanna, and we can put her in. And I'll show her, I'll show her to you guys real quick. She's level 8 already. Uh, I think new characters usually match darts level level when you get them. Now her addition is Whip Smack. That's a very interesting name, but uh, yeah, Whip Smack. And she has uh, where is it? Uh, it's not really saying here, but she has a Black Dragon. You can see her Dragoon Spear on the bottom. It's kind of black. And her move, her first magic move is Astral Drain. Now Astral Drain, if you'll ever see me use it, um, she actually throws her sword up in the air and it causes like some kind of like dark cloud to appear. Uh, and it kind of like sucks a little bit of life out of the enemies. And it's, it's on all of them. And it gives everybody in her party just a little bit more HP. It's not a great big... Not a great big heal, but uh, it's not bad. Not to start. To, not bad to start with. Um, her her skills aren't that bad. She moves a little bit faster than everybody else, except for Shauna. Um, she she moves just about as fast as Shauna. Her attack is right in between Dart and Lavitz. Uh, probably right around Darts. Her magic attack is um, better than Darts. Her magic defense is, be is about the same as Dart's, uh, but her defense is not as good as either Dart or Lavish. She just has a little bit more than Shauna does, but not that much. So, but we will bring we will bring her in here in a little bit. We want to keep um, we want to keep Shauna in because she's still level seven, and we want to get her up. So, we will get Rose in. Don't worry, folks. So let's head on. Are we going to fight one more time? Nope. This is where we're going to next. This is the marshland. And boy, howdy, that'll be interesting. 
So, again, I want to thank everybody for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. Hit the like button if you did. Please subscribe to the channel. There is a lot more coming. More Legend of Dragoon. We'll also have some playthroughs of Star Trek Online as a Federation character, as a Romulan, which I'm going to be finishing soon. And I'm going to be starting up a brand new Klingon character here pretty soon. Uh, and, of course, I've got Red Dead Redemption 2. We're getting right into the grind of it there. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying everything. Leave a comment. Let me know if you, if you have any thoughts or anything you want to let me know about. This is Captain Ron Phillips, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.